Getting started with Python Idle. If you've recently downloaded Python onto your computer, then you may have noticed a new program on your machine called Idle. You might be wondering, what is this program doing on my computer? I didn't download that. While you may not have downloaded this program on your own, Idle comes bundled with every Python installation. It's there to help you get started with the language right out of the box. In this course, you'll learn how to work in Python Idle and a few cool tricks that you can use on your Python journey. You'll learn what Python Idle is, how to interact with Python directly using Idle, how to edit, execute and debug Python files with Idle, and how to customise Python Idle to your liking. So now you know what we'll be covering, let's get started. What is Python Idle? Every Python installation comes with an integrated development and learning environment, which you'll see shortened to IDLE or even IDE. These are a class of applications that help you write code more efficiently. While there are many IDEs for you to choose from, Python IDLE is very bare bones, which makes it the perfect tool for a beginning programmer. Python IDLE comes included in Python installations on Windows and Mac. If you're a Linux user, then you should be able to find and download Python Idle using your package manager. Once you've installed it, you can then use Python Idle as an interactive interpreter or as a file editor. Firstly, a brief note on the appearance of Idle. While the functionality is the same across all three supported platforms, there's an important difference in appearance. On macOS, the menu bar remains at the top of the screen rather than being attached to the application windows as seen here on Linux. And on Windows. All of the screen captures you see in this course are taken on Mac OS. So with that in mind, you should be able to easily find what you need on your operating system. The best place to experiment with Python code is in the interactive interpreter, otherwise known as a shell. The shell is a basic read, eval, print loop, commonly known as a REPL. It reads a Python statement, evaluates the result of that statement, and then prints out the result on the screen. Then it loops back to read the next statement. The Python shell is an excellent place to experiment with small code snippets. You can access it through the terminal or command line app on your machine. You can simplify your workflow with Python Idle, which will immediately start a Python shell when you open it. Every programmer needs to be able to edit and save text files. Python programs are files with a .py extension that contain lines of Python code. Python Idle gives you the ability to create and edit these files with ease. Python Idle also provides several useful features that you'll see in professional IDEs like basic syntax highlighting, code completion and auto-indentation. Professional IDEs are more robust pieces of software and they have a steep learning curve. If you're just beginning your Python programming journey, then Python Idle is a great alternative. So let's start on that journey by taking a look at the Python Idle shell. How to use the Python idle shell. The shell is the default mode of operation for Python idle. When you click on the icon to open the program, the shell is the first thing that you can see. Here you can see a blank Python interpreter window. You can use it to start interacting with Python immediately, testing it out with a short line of code. Here you can see print used to output the string hello from idle to the screen. This is the most basic way to interact with Python idle. You type in commands one at a time and Python responds with the result of each command. Next, take a look at the menu. You'll see a few options for using the shell. You can restart the shell from this menu. If you select that option, then you'll clear the state of the shell. It will act as if you've just started a fresh instance of Python idle the shell will forget about everything from its previous state. Here you can see a variable x has been defined with the value of 5, and printing it out returns that value. 
However, after the shell has been restarted, X is no longer defined and this generates a name error. You can also interrupt the execution of the shell from this menu or by using the keyboard shortcut which is typically Control c This will stop any program or statement that's running in the shell at the time of interruption. Take a look at what happens when you send a keyboard interrupt to the shell. A keyboard interrupt error message is displayed in red text at the bottom of the window. The program received the interrupt and has stopped executing. In the next section of the course, you'll see how to work with Python files within Idle.